a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. Good morning, Hawks. I'm Elsie. And I'm Kaden. And, and you're, you're watching, watching the Hawk Hit News Christmas, Christmas special. special. However, before we get into all the holiday spirit, please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Hawks, but now Caden has a Grinch-like Christmas story for you all. This is the best present ever, thank you, Santa, was nine-year-old Scott Lundy's, Lundy's initial reaction when he unwrapped his big gift Christmas morning, a Sony PS4. But that excitement quickly turned to tears when Scott and his dad Brian actually opened up the box to set the game console up and found a fake wooden model inside, complete with what the Massachusetts local news station describes as a crude drawing and message scrawled on it. He's crying and he's upset and he's in the playroom by himself and he just wants to be alone. I was crushed, stepmom Kristen Lundy tells the news station. She adds in a Facebook post describing the incident, this has ruined his belief in Santa. The family took the PS4 back to the Massachusetts Target where it had been purchased and they were told that this kind of thing takes place on occasion. So if you're thinking about buying someone or yourself a PS4 this Christmas, I think I'd reconsider. Where's Ashton Kutcher when we need him? I mean, that kid just got punked. Oh, I missed that show, Elsie. You know who else is a punk? Santa Claus. I mean, Gabe Coon. <laughs> Within the studio with your need to know. <laughs> Hi Hawks, I'm Santa, I mean Gabe Kuhn, and here I am in our new set to give you the need to know. If you have lost a smaller item of value, we may have it in the front office. Please come to the office to describe the item. If you are interested in participating in the school-wide Poetry Out Loud contest, it will be held the second week of January. To compete, you must have won a classroom competition and memorized two poems from poetryoutloud.org. If you have any questions, come see Miss James in room 104. If you need a break from the stress of the hol holidays, come color a 3D paper ornament at the library. Take one home or donate it to the library for a holiday display. Or, if coloring is not your thing, you can wrap yourself up in a good book. Check out one of the library's mystery books for a reading surprise. You can find them on the table by the library entrance next to the book tree. And that's it for your need to know. Back to you. Ho ho ho! Thanks, Gabe, for those announcements. You know what I love more than you, Kaden? What, Elsie? <laughs> Christmas music. <laughs> True. But do you know what I love even be even more than Christmas music? Me. Our very own teachers lip syncing it. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow. But have a cup of cheer Have a holly jolly Christmas And when you walk down the street Say hello to friends you know And everyone you know. Wow, that got me into the Christmas spirit. Jingle bells, Caden smells, I'm the best anchor. Well, you're getting Chris you're getting coal for Christmas, Elsie. <laughs> now, I save all my nights for Santa. But that's all we have today, guys. As always, stay jolly. But more importantly, stay fly. The need is a reindeer. The Grinch looked around, but since reindeer are scarce, there was none to be found. Did that stop the Grinch? <laughs> Brain is full of spiders. You've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole. All right. The need is a reindeer. The Grinch.